Good day everyone! Welcome to another session of Mommy Teo Teaches Math. Our topic for today is determining the truth value of a given proposition. To determine the truth value of a given proposition, we will be using here a so-called truth table. This table is used to determine whether the given compound statement is true or false. Let's take a look at the truth table for negation. If the given proposition is true, of course, not true will be false. If the given proposition is false, of course, not false will be true. Example 1. 2 is an odd number. We know that this proposition is false because 2 is an even number. So, not False will be, of course, true. Number two, everyone in Visayas speaks Cebuano. We know that in Visayas, there are many local dialects. And one of this is, of course, Cebuano. Therefore, this is a false statement. And not false will be, of course, true. Number three, seven is a prime number. This one is a true statement because when we say prime number, the factors are 1 and the number itself. So in this case, the factors of 7 are 1 and 7. So therefore, that is a true statement. Not true will be, of course, false. Truth table for conjunction. We know that when we say conjunction, we use the logical operator and, but, yet, and many others. Case number one, if the proposition, first proposition is true, and the second proposition is also true, and they are connected by any of those logical operators, the truth value for that will be true. Case number two, if the first proposition is true, the second is false, and they are connected by any of those mentioned logical operators, that will be false. Case number three. If the first proposition is false, the second is true, the truth value for that is false. Case number four. If the first proposition is false, the second is false, they are joined by any of those logical operators, but yet and and it is still false. Okay, let's give an example. Number one, Taitai tai is in Rizal. We know that Taitai tai is really in Rizal, so meaning the first proposition is true. And Quezon City is in Laguna. The second proposition is Quezon City is in Laguna. This one is of course false. Now, we use the logical operator N, so therefore P and Q. P and Q, that will be true, false. The truth value for this is of course false. Okay, number two. Two plus three equals five. And 5 equals 6 minus 1. 2 plus 3 equals 5. This one is a true proposition. And then 5 equals 6 minus 1. That is also a true proposition. Therefore, true and true, they are connected by and. The truth value is still true. Number 3, Pentagon has 4 sides. We know that Pentagon has 5 sides. Therefore, that one is a false proposition. Rectangle has three sides. Again, that one is a false proposition because rectangle has four sides. False, false, that will be, of course, the truth value is false. Number four, Obama is the U.S. president. We know that Obama is not the U.S. president anymore. That one is a false statement because Biden is the new U.S. president. And Duterte is the president of the Philippines. So that will be true. False true, the truth value for that is of course truth table for disjunction. Disjunction uses the logical operator or and this one is the symbol. Case number one. If the first proposition is true, 
the second proposition is also true and they are joined by the disjunction or the truth value of that is true. Case number two, first proposition true, second false, the truth value of that is true. Case three, first proposition false, second proposition true, that truth value of that compound statement is true. Case number four, first proposition false, second proposition false, the truth value of that compound statement is false. Okay. So, example number one. Tai Tai is in Rizal. That is true. And then, Kain Ta is in Quezon City. We know that Kain Ta is not in Quezon City. It is in Rizal. So, that will be false. So, P or Q, that will be true. Based on the truth table. Number two x plus x is equal to 2x that's correct and then 2x minus x is x that is also correct so true and true true or true rather true or true that will be true okay number three the dog has four feet that is true the cat has two feet that is false. True, false, true, false, that will be true. So that is P or Q. Truth table for conditional. We know that conditional uses the if-then statement. And this one is the symbol. Case 1. If the first proposition is true, the second is true, the truth value for that is also true. Case number 2. The first proposition is true, and then the second is false. T implies F. The truth value of that is false. Case number three. The first proposition is false. The second is true. The truth value of that is true. And then case number four. If the first proposition is false, the second is false. The truth value of that is true. Number one, example. If GB is in grade 11, then she is a senior high school. Remember that the first proposition there is GB is in grade 11. So that one is true. She is a senior high school. That is, of course, true. Because if you are in grade 11, you will be in senior high school. So that is P implies Q. So, true, true, the truth value is, of course, true. Number two, if GB is in grade 11, then she is a working lawyer. We know that a grade 11 student cannot work as a lawyer. So, this one is true. The second statement is false. And then T or F, that will be, T implies F rather, that will be F. Okay? So, number three. If X plus X equals X squared, that one is a false proposition. Why? X plus X is 2X. Then, X times X is 2X. That is also a false proposition. So, therefore, F implies F, that will be a true statement. Okay? Truth table for biconditional. If the first statement is true, the second statement is true, and they are connected by if and only if, the truth value of that compound statement is true. Case number two, if the first proposition is true, the second is false, the truth value of that compound statement is true false. Third case, first proposition is false, second is true, the truth value of that compound statement is false. First proposition is false, second proposition is false, they are connected by if and only if, the truth value of that compound statement is true. Given, proposition P, Neil is a big eater. 
Q, Len has a big voice. R, Emily likes to travel. And M, that M, Camille likes Violet. Okay, example one. Camille likes Violet. If and only if, Neil is a big eater. Camille likes Violet, we have M. And that is true. And then, Neil is a big eater, that is P. That is also true. They are connected by if and only if. M, if and only if, P. So, we have the first case that will be true. Number two. Len has a big voice. So, that one is Q. And that is true. Camille does not like Violet. So, Camille M does not like Violet. That will be false. Okay? Does not like. So, Q, if and only if M... So, that will be T, F, and that is false. The compound statement is false. Number three. Neil is a big eater or Len has a big voice. If and only if Emily likes to travel and Camille likes Violet. So, we have four propositions here. Neil is a big eater. That is P. That is true. Len has a big voice. That will be Q. And that is true. We use the first logical operator OR, so that is P or Q. So, true or true, that is true according to the truth table. And then, if and only if, Emily likes to travel. Emily likes to travel R, and that is true. And then, Camille likes Violet, that is M, that is also true. We use the connector and, so we have R and M. True, true, and true, that will be true according again to the truth table. For, of course, the end. Now, let us connect the two. We have this one and this one, if and only if. So we have P, I will be writing it here, P, or Q, if and only if, we have R and M. Okay. So, we have T, if and only if T, T, if and only if T, that will be true. That's it.